Here's another Toyota tidbit for you. sometimes has slack in the acceleration pedal and on these 2001 2002 the throttle body is a little bit different so what we can do see there's just a little bit of play right in there so what we can do is we can tighten this up take some of that play out and that's going to translate into your throttle cable being a little bit tighter and you're going to have a little bit more response That's really loose. So what we're gonna do to prevent some of the breaking off of this bolt is take some white lithium grease. Maybe some of these bolts are seized up or not so seized up a little bit. You could probably use WD-40. I just chose this because it was on the shelf and easily accessible. So I'm gonna let that go ahead and penetrate just a little bit. And then we have two 14 millimeter wrenches. We're gonna loosen this up. And then we're gonna proceed to back that off just a little bit so you don't have as much play in the cable wire. Another thing that you can do is you can have this running while you're doing this so you don't overdo it. You don't want too high of an idle. Recommended. Idle speeds are right around 550 to 700 when it is fully warmed up and idling correctly. This isn't too bad. I've had a couple other forerunners that there was quite a bit of play in this cable. This cable actually looks like it's been replaced recently. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna simply break that loose just a bit. Now what we're going to want to do is move it back just a little bit and then we'll tighten down that nut. A little bit at a time. So here the vehicle is on a cold start, just warming up. Very typical. For it to be idling right there. We'll take it for a little bit of a drive. Let that temperature get up to it's normal operating temperature and make sure the idle is still right around 700 RPMs or less. So what do we expect to get out of this free horsepower mod? <laughs> Better throttle response. Now of course the 3.4 V6 has 190 some horsepower so it's no rocket ship by any means it's a little torquey truck motor but when you're out in the highway and you want to kick down to pass somebody or maybe get on the interstate you want to hit that gas and go right so we'll go ahead and merge into traffic so this is going to take a little bit of the play out of that throttle cable and that will enable a little speedier acceleration there was just a little bit of play in the throttle in this one so I thought I'd do that and we'll take a look at the Tacoma here when I get back and see what kind of play that has in it. It's also a, a 2003, so it's going to have a very similar, well, the same throttle body. Here's the fully warmed up RPMs, which is normal. Now, if you're much above that, you may have tightened your cable just a little bit too much. So here's the 03 Tacoma. Obviously, you need to have a little bit of play in there. The acceleration response is pretty good with this. I don't think I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to leave that little bit of play in there. We're sitting right at 700 RPMs for the idle. Fully warmed up. Of course, the air conditioner is not on. As soon as you hit the AC, 
Of course, that's going to compensate if it's functioning correctly, and that RPM is going to jump up just a little bit to accommodate the added stress on the engine. So, of course, if you're going to do this, and I stress you be careful with it because this bolt has been known to break just through years of use, but you might want to put a pair of pliers on this very lightly. You don't want to hold down too far and scrunch the thing, but you can see if that nut will move. So if you move that forward just a little bit, that's gonna give a little bit more tension on your throttle cable and then go ahead and tighten down your lock nut. And you should see maybe a little bit more response and maybe a little bit more of a kick down. All right, on this 2002, we've got just a little bit of a mark here that uh, I tried to clean up, it didn't work so well. The idea is to go back retro Toyota colors, make a few stripes, cut these out same size. So I'm a little bit hesitant to throw these colors on actually, but I'm thinking that maybe if it's just a little more subdued, uh, slight, uh, it might be a nice little tasteful addition. Show a little flair perhaps. We need to talk about your flair. That's what the flair is about. It's about fun. Yeah. <laughs> Flat surface, uh, this old license plate will uh, nice, give a nice straight edge. We've got a ruler. And we'll cut these to the same size and we'll see what it looks like. We'll prep the surface here with just some simple green. Uh, I just washed the vehicle actually so everything should be pretty clean. And maybe just rub it down with a little bit of alcohol first so we can get a good adhesion. So I probably only want this like an inch wide. So the ruler would actually make a perfect cut. We'll put the, we'll line it up. We'll grab our blade. We'll do the same thing with the orange. It's got a little bit of a carbon fiber texture to it. Have to check and make sure which direction the uh, colors are. Is it yellow in the middle? Is it, I think it's red, it's orange, and then it's yellow. I think is how the proper way it goes so now basically all we're going to do is do our placements and see how it looks Here on the hood, got a couple of spots. I'm thinking about maybe just wrapping this partially, prevent uh, any more rock chips. It might give it a kind of a different look. All right, well now that that's complete, got a grill that probably needs to be scuffed up and blacked out. Now let me know what you think about these little touches, Are worth it or not. I don't know, just a little uh, customization for a vehicle. It's all later, guys. Mm -hmm.